What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to an episode of Fishing Me. Okay. Technically, we're not fishing, but we're going to talk a little bit. It's been a while since I made a video like this, so let's get to it. Now, you live here in Wisconsin. It has been raining for the past, I don't know, 40 days. It feels like forever, and it's non-stop raining. More of my plastics, my little logo on there, you know. Extreme Outdoor, repping y'all, TRB Lures, Hooked and Tag. They're not my sponsor, you guys. They're just good buddies of mine. I rep and use their stuff. All right, so to the point. In this video, we are going to learn about singles. Ah, sounds like a lot of fun, right? I get a lot of questions about what kind of singles do I use? Uh, how do I use singles? How do I rig them? When to throw them? Uh, what pound test? What leader? Da da da, what hooks. All of that is going to be answered in this video. And I'm gonna make it real short. Like, I think I got three or four, three or four clips I wanna show you guys on my outing. And I wanna show you guys how effective singles really are. Uh, two brands that I have here with me are Bass Pro Shop Series, and Gary Yamamoto's. I'm sure you guys know what those are. Let me just get them out real quick. You got it. <laughs> Told you I'm from fishing. I got one left, but I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys why I use Gary Yamamoto's, what kind of hooks, what tool do I use, the Bass Pro Shop series. Okay, these two are the brand that I use often. Bass Pro Shop, I got a bunch in there, mismatch, orange, pumpkin green, pumpkin green, red flakes, black flakes, whatever. And then my favorite color from Gary Yamamoto is actually just this like pumpkin green color. That dark green with black flakes. Nothing crazy, nothing rocket science. Simple green, simple brown, works great. First question that I get asked the most is how do you rig a single? Obviously answer the question of what brands I use. Now the second question would be how do I rig it? I'm sure you guys. Rocket science, how to rig a single. Oh, look at that, look how far it bends actually. That's pretty cool. I gotta sneeze. Okay. I don't, know. I don't think I have to sneeze. To me, Bass Pro Shop singles work great. Searching for large round bass, okay? The way how I rig up Bass Pro Shop single is how you rig up any other singles out there. Real simple. You take your hook. Another question being answered. What size hook do I use? I use a size 2. Owner. Okay? Owner hooks. Size 2. Nothing rocket science, okay? You can use size three, size one, whatever you want, but I found out that size two works the best. Size two to me works great. How I'll rig this. You take your single, rig it. It don't matter what color, what size up first, okay? Just rig it through the middle. Oh, rocket science. Oh, it's like that, you guys. Wacky rig. Rarely, rarely do I use the weedless rig where, you know, you take the hook, go through here, and then go through the back, and it's a straight tail worm. 10 times out of 10, this is how I rig my single. And that's one way of rigging it. The other way is this way right here where I wanna show you guys, where you use this tool. This is actually a ring, okay? Like a little ring tool thingy, wacky tool. This is VMC. I picked this up at Flea Farm. I love Flea Farm. That's where like I buy all my lures. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this thing, okay? If you guys do not know about this device, you need to get on it, man, because it makes life a lot easier. It's not something new. It's been around for a long time. It just works great. What you would do, how you would rig this up. This is a Gary Yamamoto uh, single. All you do, nothing rocket science. Slip this in there really quick. Take one ring, okay, and just slide it. Ugh. Okay, it is rocket science. Roll it to the warm, okay? Now, you want to make sure you get in between the flat part of the warm, okay? Not between the ripples there. The flat part of the worm as you guys can see in the video i'm just gonna focus but get there and just pop it on there bam rocket science you guys you will take your hook and you go into the ring the ring just go between the ring and voila yeah look at that you guys so now you got yourself a wacky ring single. Now the time when I do use this technique right here is when I'm skipping docks, okay? If I really want to like get that really hard skip under tight docks or tight laydowns, this ring will help prevent the hook damaging the 
warm itself because Gary Yamamoto singles is very salted makes it a really good single because a lot of salt makes the lure get a lot of action sinks well floats well whatever it is this will help me this ring will help me skip the lure 10 times harder than I normally can if I just rig it through the middle okay through the texture itself it doesn't slip off as easy uh, slides better cast further with it cast harder with it whatever you want to do with it it stays on a lot better okay that is the whole purpose of this ring another question would be what palm test do i use what rod do i use what reel do i use what's my single setup one of those videos i was using a different setup only because it was already rigged up my brother was actually using it and i was too lazy to rig it up on my actual single rod so i decided to use it but i still use the same technique wacky rig style People ask me what kind of line do I use. I actually like using braid fluorocarbon. And the fluorocarbon that I would recommend if you do go straight fluorocarbon would be 12 pound Seaguard Invis X. I don't know. I've been using Seaguard Invis X for a long time. This is 12 pound test. It works great. It's strong as you guys see in the video. It doesn't break off easily. Believe it or not, Invis X is very sensitive. I got this tied on my 15 pound power pearl braid, the green, with the Alberto knot. With the leader right here, okay? I don't know if you guys can see. You guys are probably just staring at my glasses. The braid allows the sensitivity. This fluorocarbon cigar here is also very sensitive. Visibility. Yeah, I don't know. It works great. This is my rig up right here. It's my setup. How long is the leader? I want to say usually I'll put up to like five, a five foot leader. But I've been cutting it down because I've been using it so much. So it's about like three foot right now. Yeah, this is my rig up. That's what I use right there. Now the rod choice I would use, okay, this is just my combo, okay, there's a lot of combos out there. My combo I use is a Dobbin Fury Series. It even says for Cinco, Texas Rigs, Shaky Head, etc. okay. It's a medium fast action, great backbone, sensitive. This is the FR, if it focuses, I probably have to like move back. Oh, 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 I don't know, it's gonna focus. FR703. That's that. Like I said, enough backbone, enough tip, very sensitive, gives you that direct hook setup. Got to pair it up with my Pistol Fun Carbon X, super light, 10 plus one ball bearing, super strong. I think it's like a six to something gear ratio, so it picks up a lot of slack for you to get that good hook setup. So let's get to it. I know this is a little bit of an intro, but I hope I educate you guys on something. I hope it was informative. One way of using it, the other way is just wacky rigging it, okay? Both ways work great, okay? Both ways work great. If you have any other way, please let me know. Please tag me. Please hit my Instagram up and show me, okay? I'm willing to learn anything, everything, all things. So with that being said, enjoy these videos. And hopefully, I don't know, you guys like it. Uh, <laughs> single fishing is fun. That's all I got to say. People ask me questions. Hopefully I covered it. I'm not a professional single fisherman, but this is the way how I fish single. Yeah. Enjoy these three videos. I know I keep saying it. Enjoy these three videos and see you guys next time. That's a nice bass. Oh my gosh. That thing's huge. Big old bass. Oh my gosh. Oh, sh it's a big old bass. Golly. Whoa. Dude, who's a big old bass? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a four pounder, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a big old bass. I think it's a four pounder. Fat as heck. Oh, oh my gosh.
That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Golly. Oh my goodness. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice. Anyways, it's a nice two and a half pounder. Fatty. Gosh, dude could fight. It's a nice bass. Oh gosh, it's actually pretty big. Dude can fight, yo. Nice. That's a nice fish. Oh gosh, finally. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. The wacky rig. Catch you a lot of fish. <sighs> Look at that, yo. <sighs> That's a tank right there. Let's get away on her now. Let her go. Yep, 299, 295. Call her three pounds. Nice fish. Whoa, so stocky. Let's get a picture and uh, let's get a release. Get a release on her. That's a good fish, three pounder right there. Whew, finally. 